Hi guys, welcome to my channel, The Collector's Hubs. Today game is called Conway, Disappearance at Dolly of You, and detective game developed by White Paper Games. You play as a retired detective Robert Conway, on the case of the missing year old Charlotte May from Dolly of You, led the investigation, and uncover dark secrets in a story-driven observational thriller. If you like this series, consider give this video a like. Starting. Okay, you're right. For the best part of my later years, I worked as a private investigator. I'd seen... Sadly, most of them unresolved. But, in 1954, something terrible and far closer to home happened that I could not avoid. And it happened right here, in Daily View. Oh, 
The police are here. What on earth is all the commotion? Now, where's my camera? I need to see what's going on outside my window. Now, I can get a closer look. What on earth is all the commotion? Well, that's Tony Morgan's blood. Oh, my God, I... I... I hope he's all right. Please let him be all right. Smashed plant pot. I, I must have slipped through it. I should have come to my window sooner. Theodore and Annabel McKee, I believe. I really should get to know my neighbors better. Shirley Downs. She runs the crow's nest. Her office overlooks the courtyard. Bound during your production. Dear God. Charlotte May, Mr. Morgan's daughter, has been kidnapped. Old Mrs. Doer. She's usually peering through her window watching our neighbors. It's past her bedtime. I'm not zoomed in enough to see. Chloroform. What on earth? A kidnapping right on my doorstep. Who doesn't bear thinking about? Imagine if it was Catherine. Time to pay my neighbors a visit and see what they know.
Charlotte May could only be seven or eight years old. Why would someone want to take her? It doesn't make any sense. Hello, Mr. Conway. Good evening. Terrible what's happened, isn't it? So you know what happened? They're looking for a kidnapper. A search is about to start in the Pine Woods. My sister, Shirley. She owns the pub across the way. The searchers are all meeting there first. What do you know about the kidnapping, Mr. Conway? Not much. That's why I'm talking to the pair of you. You should talk to the old busybody over in her big manor house. Mrs. Doer. She knows everything that goes on here. I wouldn't be surprised if she saw the kidnapper. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the kidnapper. That's an awful thing to say. Well, have you seen her? Always fawning over that little girl. All alone in that big house. Plenty of room to hide someone. I can see that you've put a lot of thought into this, Mrs. McKee. A little too much, love. Well, I'm not the only one who thinks it. Oh, blast. What time is it? Uh, it must be a little after midnight by now, surely. The search is starting without me. I have to get my coat. Uh, you'll forgive me, Mr. Conway? Uh, yes, good night. Good night, Mr. Conway. Uh, we'll talk again soon. So the kidnapper smashed this during the altercation. Mr. Morgan must have taken quite a hit. Good evening, Mr. Levy. Evening. How strange times we live in when a girl can be taken on our doorstep. You ain't wrong. It's a bloody mess. Did you see what happened at all? No. Uh, how well did you know Charlotte May? You lived next door. You must have seen her a lot. I hope they're going to clean all this mess up tonight. I've got a business to run. I'm sure this must be a great inconvenience to you. Huh. That reminds me. Rent day tomorrow. Don't be late. I haven't forgotten. Good. Keep it that way, and we'll get along just fine. May I ask what you were doing tonight? No. Conway, may I have a moment? Do you know what's happened? Never mind all that. Your daughter is a police officer, is she not? She is. Here, I found this. What's this then? A brooch. I found it on the floor here. It probably belonged to that poor girl. Thought I'd better pick it up before Shirley Downs gets her mitts on it. What do you mean by that? Never mind. Perhaps you can make sure it finds its way to your daughter. I will. And thank you for telling me. Just doing my duty. Can you tell me what you meant about Shirley? Good night, Mr. Conway. Did you see anything else at all? Just make sure to give your daughter that brooch.
who would tie up a small child. Miss Downs, do you have a moment? I'm, I'm sorry. What did you say? I can come back if you need some time. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm just... I can't believe this is happening so close to home. Well, maybe I can. What do you mean by that? Not everyone in Daily of You is as they seem, Mr. Conway. Uh, Miss Downs, who are you referring to? That son of a bitch right there, with the smug look on his face. Uh, Mr. Levy? <laughs> Why not? I mean, what do you really know about him? Well, I pay him my rent once a fortnight, but no other than that. I didn't really speak to the man. Well, sadly I do. He's up to something. You must have noticed all the strange deliveries, coming and going at night. You think he took Charlotte May? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Downs, uh, what are you basing this on? Experience, Mr. Conway. You'll excuse me, I, I need to help the police with their search. Oh, there's Mr. Morgan. Hello, Mr. Morgan. My name is Robert Conway. I live in flat 23. Yes, uh, I've seen you around, Mr. Conway. Uh, well, you see, I thought I'd better come over and check you're okay. Some of our neighbors seem to be content just to stare. I'm so sorry to hear about your daughter. Very kind of you. I'm sorry, but I'm late joining the search. I've been talking to the police for over an hour. Of course. I understand. The police officer you spoke to was most likely my daughter. Is that so? Yes, she's a very determined young lady. If anyone is going to find your daughter, it's her. I was once a private investigator myself, so I know how her mind works. Well, it's comforting to know I'm surrounded by such competent minds, Mr. Conway. I'd like to offer my services too, if you'd permit me. That's very kind, but I, I don't have money, I'm afraid. Oh, Mr. Morgan, no. I'm a father myself. I meant to say that I'm at your disposal. Very generous, but the police said uh, that... All I'd be doing is observing and talking to people. And if I find anything, I'll be sure to share it with Catherine. Catherine? Uh, my daughter, the police officer. Right, of course. That reminds me. I have this... Roach. Does this mean anything to you? That's Charlotte Mays. You see how the simplest detail can be overlooked. Even by the police. Best to have as many eyes on the case, in my experience. Oh, I see your point. May I have it back, please? Would you mind if I kept onto it for a day or so, in case it proves to have some use? Y yes, of, of course. If you think it would help. I would very much like you to return it, though. As soon as I have something to report back to you. You have my word. So, where do you suppose you'd begin? Well, right here. I in daily view? Yes. It's my experience that it's usually someone who knows the victim. Do you mean to tell me that one of my neighbors has my girl? Uh, no, no. I I'm merely saying that it's a logical place to start. Now I see. That's why the police search my house. Because I'm a suspect, I suppose. That's the way it works, I'm sorry to say. So they're not even looking for the real kidnapper? I can assure you they will be. Tell me, Mr. Conway, and be honest. Are you going to look for my girl? I promise you, I'll stop at nothing until I find her. 
For now, I need you to think of anyone who could have taken Charlotte May. I don't know. Think of anyone or anything at all. Mr. Conway, who do you know who could do such a thing? I see your point. Well, for now, perhaps try to get some rest. Charlotte May needs you to be stronger. You'll excuse me, Mr. Conway. I'm going to join the search and find my little girl. That's fair enough, Mr. Morgan. Good night, and good luck. Good night, Mr. Conway. Dad? Uh, Catherine. I thought I might bump into you tonight. Well, I shouldn't be here, what with you living so close. Conflict of interest and all. Uh, are you finished here? Almost, yes. Are you okay? Yes, I I'm fine. It's poor Charlotte May I'm worried about. Anyway, look at you. I rarely get to see you in your uniform. You look good. Thank you. I wish it was a little more comfortable. Catherine, can I ask, what have you found? I'm not allowed to tell you. You know that. Besides, I don't have all the details myself, and my sergeant isn't exactly forthcoming with new recruits. Hang in there. You're an asset. They'll come to see how intelligent you are. Thank you. All I can say is that it looks as though Tony Morgan's daughter has been kidnapped. Awful news. May I ask why they're searching the Pinewoods? Do they know where the kidnapper went? No. It's a dead end. We're clueless, but we can't be seen to be doing nothing. And the locals suggested the woods, so... Dear God. I perhaps wonder if I should talk to my neighbours again. Oh, again? Yes, Catherine, I've been thinking, and... Dad! What? I know this is happening on your doorstep, but please, don't get any ideas. Well, I'm a naturally curious person, you know that. You don't do this anymore. Leave it to us, please. Well, do the police have any ideas? Who... Dad, I mean it. Don't get involved. Well, I'd like to help you. I want to do this on my own. I didn't realize what this means to you. I meant to say, I want to do it the right way. By the book. Please promise me. Okay, I, I promise. I'll leave the police work up to you. Thank you. Anyway, I'd better be off. I have to make a statement before the morning press. My sergeant is finally trusting me with something. Well, you'd better hurry. I'll look out for your article in the morning paper. Right. I'm off. Please go back inside. You'll catch a chill. Night, my love. Night, Dad. The last thing I want is to upset Catherine. I can tell how serious she is about her case. I've never seen her so driven. I suppose I'll still develop the photos I've taken of the crime scene. I might have captured something that the police did not. And I won't be stepping on Catherine's toes if I stay in my flat and out of the way.
The police have marked out several pieces of evidence that are likely related to the attack. However, Mrs. Doer handed me a brooch that was found at the scene. Mr. Morgan later confirmed it belonged to Charlotte May. Could the brooch be a missing piece of the puzzle? I wonder if finding where the brooch was dropped could help build a better picture of the attacker's movements. So, if Mrs. Doer was right about where she found the brooch, it means the kidnapper must have come past her manor house at some point during the abduction. Oh, I forgot to give Catherine the brooch. There just hasn't been a good time. It sounds like I have mail. Now what's this? Mr. Morgan's note implicates most of his neighbors. I had suspected as much, but now I have something solid to work with. Catherine has asked me not to get involved, but I've already promised Mr. Morgan I'll find Charlotte May. I should have told Catherine there and then. I'm already involved. I can feel it again, that drive, that first pull at the yarn. It's all on this evidence board. Suspects, victims, items found at the scene. I have everything. All that remains is to watch over my neighbors until one of them makes a mistake. And I can still give Catherine her space. 
If the whole town is searching the Pinewoods, someone needs to keep an eye over Daily View. I've been sitting watching my neighbors on and off for hours, but I've seen nothing of any use for my evidence board. Tony Morgan suggested that the McKees were acting strangely around Charlotte May. I heard Theodore return home earlier this evening, but didn't manage to get a glimpse. Charlotte May is counting on me to find her, but so far I've drawn a blank. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. But by their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? He seems quite eager to talk. Theodore looks unhappy about I don't know what. He's pacing back and forth. It seems heated. I still have no idea what the problem is. Perhaps this is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. Now, oh, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. What on earth is it?
She's got a knife. Oh, Jesus. She's going to... No. She wants Theo to use it. He doesn't know which one to use. Theo, don't do it. Whatever it is, take pause of yourself. swing? Dear God. What have I just witnessed? Some time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. I didn't actually see anything. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go! What in God's name? Shit! What are you doing? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. That thing was your idea. My idea? Oh, Christ. Get it out of here. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Hurry up! Mr. Morgan. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. Uh, yes, I suppose so. Please, if, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just all so sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. Oh, I'm so sorry, of course. It, it's fine, Annabelle. If there's anything I can do, you won't hesitate to ask. Damn it, what should I do? Catherine asked me not to get involved. But, but this... It's not over until it's over. I think I need to pay the McKees a personal call.
I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry, lying there, helpless. All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McKees. These are developing nicely. I'll need my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. Now, to find out what the McKees were doing in that pantry. If they did kill Charlotte May in their pantry last night, then surely they would have left some evidence behind. I need to get inside. It's not much to go on as of yet. I'll see to that.
If the McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night, then there must be some evidence left in their pantry. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too late? Hello? Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes. Uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. Yeah. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help Mr. Conway? Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Uh, Mrs. McKee... Annabelle, I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbours might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well, why don't you get to it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Well, nonetheless, Mr. Morgan has asked me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. And so you've come to look at us. Look, let me be straight. I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people, you might say. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some basic questions anyway, what do you say? Well, however we can help. As long as it's not too long is all. Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought you... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your lavatory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find out why. Doctor's note addressed to Annabelle.
Now what do we have here? Mr. Conway? Can I offer you a cup of tea? Yes, uh, two sugars. Tram ticket. Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. I apologize. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte May was taken. I've been thinking about it, and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three, and wrapped it up for him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage, and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I think. I didn't see Charlotte May at all that day, and I was out of town for most of the night. I think the last time I saw her was on the Wednesday. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. I'll stop you there if you don't mind. As interesting as it is to know what you were doing leading up to the event, I think it might be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also. Perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this without Theo here. I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. You're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break around now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible for you to go and get him so that we might continue the conversation? I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. In fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. Thank you. Well, I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow or the day after, or 
even the day after that. It's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could fetch him now and we could resolve the matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me, it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. I fear I'd only slow you down. The stairs, you see. No, I'll wait here for you. Fine, just wait here. Now, to get that key down. It's moving. Almost there. Well, that was easier than I thought. Oh, it's locked. Charlotte, were you in here? Give me something. They have an allotment. Good idea. Looks as though they scrubbed the place clean last night. Please let me be wrong. Bleached head to toe. I'm too late. There's, there's nothing left to see. Oh, they're not back yet. Then there's still time to search the flat.
Theo's room, no doubt. He's a slob. Something's blocking these keys from the other side. Locked. How does one open a piano front? Forty-five pounds. If I were a lesser man, I'd take it and live comfortably for the rest of the year. There's no way Theo's boss pays him this much.
music sheets, presumably Theo's songs. I wonder what was last written on this notepad. in the fireplace. I can't get it out with my bare hands. It seems to be a list of medicines. Interesting. something. Oh, there's no date. I can't link it to the kidnapping. The cello case is locked with a combination. Why would it be locked at home? Seems worthy of opening up. Bingo.
Theo has a sister back home somewhere. sister. Look, if you're in there, I want to say sorry about the other night. Are you there? I love you, Annie. You know that, don't you? Everything I say, I, I say it because I want to protect you. Anyway, I'm posting the key back through the door. I love you. I can't stand to see an incomplete picture. Police are still here. 
I hope Catherine doesn't see me like this. Hmm. She never did make me that cup of tea. A rug has been steam cleaned. The same one they carried out last night. The dates don't match up. Shirley and Annabelle are very close. They meet every week. Theo is a performer. I have no idea what that is. Lovely. The sooner rationing ends, the better. The war ended nine bloody years ago. I'm not getting in there without a key. You can tell a lot about a person from their bedroom. This is clearly Annabelle's space. Blue mist looks brand new. Surely Theo's wage can't pay for all this.
Annabelle is obsessed with cleaning. Absolutely spotless. You'd never even know a mechanic lived here. They had a view of Mr. Morgan's home. They could have easily seen Charlotte May every day. More bleach. I spoke too soon. What on earth is inside? Hmm. Smells fresh. Well, the whole place is clean. at the foot of their bed is padlocked and needs a combination. Why would they lock away their bedding? Seems very odd. Shirley and Annabelle are close sisters. I don't know what they're currently arguing about, but they seem to let hmm. hmm. Is Annabelle having an affair? Clean bedding. Now what's this then? This is it. The mallet I saw Theo use last night. I've got you. Did you hit Charlotte May with this? Damn, the Marquis are coming back. Well then, what do you want me to say? I don't know, just stall him. He's been in there for ages. Why did you leave him then? Do you really want me to go through that right now? Okay. Okay, just don't say anything that he might... He might what? Well, you know how you are. Do you really think I'm that stupid? Now shh, let's just go inside. I'm waiting for you. Hello, Mr. Conway. Hello, Theodore. Anne says Tony Morgan asked you to investigate his daughter's disappearance? That's right, but I'm sure she's also told you that it's merely a form I was just telling Mr. Conway he's wasting his time, because we don't know anything about it. Uh, aren't you retired, Mr. Conway? Well, I'm not here officially, Mr. McKee, just as a friend of Tony Morgan's. But I do appreciate you making the time. Well... Like Anne said, we had nothing to do with Charlotte May, so I don't know how I could help. 
And I don't have long, I'm afraid. Mr. Levy isn't very happy with me stepping out of work. I appreciate it all the same. Well, shall we move into the living room? Of course. Please, after you. I'll be with you in a moment. Now, please, I'd like to know what you were doing at the time of the attack, if you wouldn't mind. Maybe start at 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? Well, I was at a gig that night, so I was playing down at the Sugar Ducks, men's club. Harold, my boss, hasn't paid me for a few months, so I've had to start making money elsewhere. I remember I got home around 10, 40, I think. I went straight into my music room. I had a song in my head I just had to get out. <clears throat> so nothing to do with Charlotte May. You say you had to start making money elsewhere. A little, yes. A little? Hmm. Uh, like I said, Harold Levy hadn't been paying me, so... Why not, if you don't mind me asking? I think he has a few money problem. It's not my place to ask, and he doesn't tell me everything. Just that he's not paying you? Sure. So how much money have you made elsewhere? Enough to get by. Well, that's all any of us can hope for, isn't it? I have trouble paying my bills myself, as you can probably imagine. You'll have to tell me your secret, where you make your extra cash. I'm sorry, what does this have to do with Charlotte May? Hopefully nothing. I'm sorry, we're off topic. You will forgive me. It's fine, Mr. Conway. Uh, should I carry on? Oh, please do. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were saying you'd entered your music room. Anyway, I think I was in my music room all the way up until... I'll be with you both in a second. Don't wait for me. Okay, my love. Um, I was in my room until Anne called me out. She heard a smash or something. Uh, Anne was visiting a friend that night, but I think she was back just before me, and I think she was in her bedroom, so by all accounts, she's the one who heard it. You didn't hear the smash yourself? Uh, no. Uh, there aren't any windows in my music room, and I was writing a song at my piano. So Annabelle heard it and came in to get you? Mm-hmm. You say you heard a smash or something. Could you think back and tell me exactly what happened? Anne came in. She said, uh, something's going on outside. That I should take a look. Uh, that was when I realized she was home. Uh, and... and that's when you came out and looked. That's right. And you say you didn't know Annabelle was home yet? Like I said, I couldn't hear anything. What with my music? So she could have been home longer? I suppose, but I don't think she was. And what did you see once you were outside? Tony Morgan, laying on the floor. All our neighbors taking a look. Then the police came. Nothing else? Not Charlotte May and not the kidnapper? I spoke to you briefly. Fair enough. Please... As you were saying. So anyway, it couldn't have been Anne or me, you see. Because we weren't here most of the night. And in any case, the sugar ducks are a good 20 minute walk away. People would have noticed if I was missing from my gig, wouldn't you think? I I'm sorry, I I'm confused. Is this all you want to know? What I was doing that night? Nothing else? What people would have noticed you missing? A neighbor, perhaps? Anyone from Daily View? No, just the locals at the Sugar Ducks. Your boss, Harold, does he ever come to watch you play? 
Not very often, no. Hmm. Doesn't he like your music? I think he does. He's just a busy man. I don't understand. Are you going to be speaking with him too? Well, perhaps. It depends where my investigation leads me. Investigation? Oh, forgive me. Old habits. I meant to say this conversation. Perhaps just carry on with uh, what you were saying. Sorry about that. I was making sure that things were uh, where we left them. I was just saying that Mr. Conway is wasting his time because we were both out of town for most of the night. Isn't that right, my love? Um. You were at a friend's, weren't you? You already paid for a tram ticket. That's why you couldn't come to the gig. Well, actually, Theo, I wanted to talk to you about that, but it can wait till later. Talk to me about what? Tell him you're out of town. Don't you have to get back to work? Actually, I think I do have to go, Mr. Conway. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You'll excuse me. Thank you for your time, Theodore. I wonder if what you're telling Theodore has an ounce of truth. You were at a friend's, were you? Mr. Conway, I think you've more than outstayed your welcome. I don't know why I agreed to talk to you in the first place. You must think me awfully dense if you think I don't know what you were doing while I was gone. I don't want to see or hear from you again, do you understand? This is a job for the police, not some old has-been playing detective. Dense? No, not at all. In fact, I think you're smarter than you're letting on. Smart enough to have your husband kill a child and then cover it up in the dead of night. Get out. Now. I think that went as well as could have been expected. From talking to the McKees, it seems apparent that they were both in Dilly View at the time Charlotte May was taken. Annabelle and Theo were clearly hiding something. I observed them getting rid of a rolled up rug and saw Theo use a mallet for God only knows what. I can't currently prove it relates to Charlotte May. And a few questions still remain. I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry, but can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living?
I'm positive that Charlotte made 45 pounds as a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? Forty-five pounds is a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry, but can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? That's right. I'm onto something. Now to piece together the rest of it. Forty-five pounds is a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? Forty-five pounds is a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl?
That's it. The mallet must have been used to hit something living. The crystallization proves it. Then they carried it down to the boot of a car. The only possible motive I can see is that Theo needed money to pay for his mother's medication. A life for a life. Could Theo really be that cold? I got the impression that Annabelle was in charge. It's not enough. I can't accuse them without something solid. I'll have to keep an eye on the McKees and continue my investigation. Hi, Dad. Dad? I think we need a little chat about your neighbors. The McKees? Damn. I can't let her see this after I made a promise. Now, why is this door closed? Dad, are you back there? Perhaps I should just come out with it. I don't know. Hello? No, it's his daughter. I'm afraid not. He, he must be out. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Good day to you, too. I can't stop now. Not after what I've seen. I'll just have to make sure I find something that Catherine can use in her investigation. It's the only way she'll understand. I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them to make a mistake. To do something that proves them guilty of killing Charlotte May. But what if I'm wrong? What if I saw what I wanted to and there was nothing in that rug? If I had hard evidence, I would have told Catherine already. I have nothing but suspicions. I should be looking at everyone in Daily of You. And Harold Levy is next on my list. Harold is a large man, large enough to carry a little girl and not slow him down. I'm back in a bit, yeah? Don't mess up the plane work. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't shake what I saw in your pantry. But for now, Harold is my focus. Might have to zoom in a little further. Theo is working on the automobile I saw him put the rug into. I still have my eye on you. There appears to be a box of some importance under Harold's bed. Whatever it contains, he's not happy about it. Theo, I need to step out for a moment. You all right watching the shop, yeah? Okay.
Uh, Harold Levy is unlocking Tony Morgan's door. Uh, now he's entering. What does he think? This does not look like a social visit. What in God's name is he doing? He's attacking Mr. Morgan. seen him like this. Jesus. You okay, boss? Yeah. You sure? I said I'm fine. Ah. Okay. I have to do something. I doubt Harold will welcome me in the way the McKees did, but if he can enter another man's home unannounced, well then so can I. Harold Levy is leaving his flat. My patience has paid off. Harold Levy has left his garage for a while perfect chance to get into his upstairs flat. I need to know what's so important about the box I observed. It might be valuable evidence. <laughs> 